Hello everybody and welcome back to Insane Brit Gaming. I'm the Insane Brit and today's playthrough is Mafia 3. I think this will go on for two or three weeks <coughs> tops. I mean, depending on how I do it. Now the reason I've started from this point is because I have to do the settings and stuff like that. So that is why. So let's jump in. <coughs> this game does deal with racism and stuff like that. So if you get triggered or one of those people, then don't watch. <laughs> But yeah, it looks good. I don't know how open world, well, it's going to be kind of open world, but I don't know how, uh, if it's going to be like GTA as such, in respects to that, in how good it's going to be where you can do things like buy clothes and all that kind of stuff. So I have no idea. I've never played a Mafia game before. Do not disconnect him, blah, blah, blah. Set the game brightness. I'm going to want it bright. I'm going to turn it all the way up. Fuck it. English, text English, subtitles on. So yeah, never played a Mafia game, so I'm looking forward to it. I know it's like an open world kind of thing like Grand Theft Auto, so basically we're into an open world game in theory. So, But I'm going to try and stick to mainly story-based missions and stuff because um, I want to see the story. That's where, <clears throat> I don't know, like I said, I don't know how, how much you can run around and how freely you can maneuver and stuff like that, so... <clears throat> Who knows? But it's been a while since I played an open world game. Mafia 3. Right, we're going to go on medium. Aim assist, I don't know. Aim assist? Eh, whatever, I can adjust that anyway. Nice artwork. I heard that this game is cr it looks crappy on Xbox One, but I don't know. I can't do a comparison. I am playing this on the PlayStation 4, obviously. They gave it free with PSN, so I thought I'd jump on it. I do... My friend did offer to borrow me this ages ago on the Xbox. <coughs> actually, guys, before this actually gets started, I'm going to close my curtains so I can see properly. <coughs> So as you read there, they decided to go with uh, realism and incorporate that in the story. Oh, I like the way this is done. It's pretty cool. New Bordeaux. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcos Whoa. had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. Have <laughs> all the murders going on here. Five, the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. So Lincoln Clay went after the Mafia mm. and caused some severe damage. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He's a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. 
So I was in the army. It was the orphanage. You fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you can never get it back. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money, and he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. New Bordeaux, LA, 1968. Mardi Gras. Feed an alligator, Jesus Christ. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grab the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> okay, I think we're robbing someplace. Pick up the keys. Um, so this is Lincoln Clay. Pick up the keys. I uh, well, this is weird. Look at my body, the way how it's built. Doesn't it feels too bulbous, like uh, unlike um, uh, GTA. The movement's not so good either. But it's kind of sluggish right now. I don't know. Uh, pick up the keys. Keys. Keys in another room. So we can get the hell out of here. Alright, Jesus. So I went orphan, went into the army, came back out, and are helping someone with a job? Still not sure about leaving oh shit! <laughs> okay, so L1, I mean L2 to aim your gun. What the hell? Okay, I just picked up a body, which I should not have done. Put that down. Get in the armored truck. <laughs> we should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, okay, I can't go out that way. I can't run. Where's the run button? It looks like a good... Good game graphics wise, uh, story sounds very interesting. Okay, so now I'm moving a lot faster, thank god. Okay, let's get out of here. Drive to the Federal Reserve. Alright. Wow, this is weird. R2 accelerate, R2 handbrake circle. Oh, the map. Ugh. This feels weird. Town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, oh, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, not like he'll be able to spend it. Feds will be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whacked him. If I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use him to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. Ah. Oh shit. Craziest thing you saw there. You don't want to know. Hell man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone. And I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. Are you going to answer the question or what? Yeah. We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran every day. Anyway, we getting them on the road. Sorry guys, I just, um, I'm going to check the, um, what do you call it, the options. Um, all the controls, game, game setting. 
Oh, wrong thing. I am going to turn the music off. I'm probably been copyright strike straight away. Um, but I know that I'm going to get copyright strike all the way throughout the entire playthrough if I don't. This woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and a leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid. Starts screaming at the woman. Wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, "I can always have another baby." Damn. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey man. Oh shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were gonna tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. So he's talking about when he was in the war. Delicious fucking pig. She kept a pig over her own kid. That's unbelievable. That's fucking insane. But that's what I mean. In those kind of countries, life is cheap. You know what I mean? You can always have another kid or whatever. That's the way they see it. But especially in those days as well, I suppose. Right, I have turned that music on. I know it's uh, off. I know it sounds quiet and everything. It may kill the mood of a game, but like I said, I get copyright strike. I'm fed up with that shit, so I can't stand the greedy corporate fucking music companies keep trying to fucking claim my videos and shit. So I turn it off in every game. I've probably already been copyright strike for this song any uh, uh for this part of the video anyway. Unless I remove it, man, uh, from it via YouTube. I'm enjoying it thus far. There's a lot of dialogue in this, <clears throat> so if I'm not speaking, I'm trying to hear the actual story in itself. Um, the driving's quite good. City's not too bad for this time period, you know, haven't explored it as such. Wait, have I gone? Okay, so we're nearly there. So we burned something down, and now we're going to head to the Federal Reserve and rob it? I don't know. It's a long ass drive. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Shit. Fuck. Whatever move, cunt. I'll just leave it under the seat. Oh shit. I think people are really looking there. <laughs> oh look, I've got a wind mirror, I mean at the top there. To look behind me. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. That's that's something different. Right, here we are. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Yeah. Alright, here we are. Graphics are really cool in the um in the cutscenes, badass. Like a movie. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and. Well, ain't like I've never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. All right, so he's saying he may experience some kind of racism or something or other. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Enter the Federal Reserve. Is this it? Private property. Right, here we go. I can't do anything. Put your okay. Up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, 
Go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burn room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Oh, shit. Is this it? Yep. Miss Gale, call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. I'm grabbing over two hundred and seven thousand dollars of small bills. And into the burn room? What? <clears throat> I thought we're dropping money off, like just to. They're gonna you burn it. That scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Burn rooms down in the cellar. This way. The burn room. So they are gonna burn it. Around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a god fearing white man can't get a job. That old nigga who staggers in is hiding on the spot. I oh, so he's mad that someone he knew knows can't get hired, and yet I've got a job. <laughs> One guy in the right way. These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that! Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. So we, they've been moving the gold around different places for weird reasons. Security reasons, maybe. Maybe it can't be in the same place for too long. Detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. Used to use coal for it, but take out the burner guard. The oh shit! How do I take him out? Some more consistent flame. Here's some guy coming around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Oh, circle. Oh damn. That guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> Wait, can I? Is there a gun there? Why right, you take care of those guards? Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. All right, take the all of the guards. This is Charlie. Okay. X to cover. <laughs> nice. The man, his name's uh, John. Huh? Finding cover. Oh, oh shit! So I'm gonna fight. Uh. Nice. Switching weapons. L1. Okay. Okay, so I got like a Tommy gun and a handgun. All right, cool. Get over here, man. Enter the vault. Seemed pretty easy, didn't it? Combination skeleton got us is legit. Without the combination, we fucked. Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Damn. <clears throat> That's some big heavy fucking door. Oh, oh, oh god damn, shit. look at that. Shit, there's a fuckload of cash. Alright, I'm gonna take care of this room. You see what you can get from outside. <clears throat> Once these boys punch through that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. Damn, that looks good. Oh fuck. Damn it. 
You triggered the fucking alarm? Shit, I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. All right, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, we're gonna pull this off. There's only two of us. I don't know how we're gonna fucking pull it off. It's gonna be like 40, 50 guards plus the police on the way. What's wrong with you, dude? Damn, my aiming sucks right now. What the fuck? I need more ammo. Alright, so you just run over there to get the ammo. Oh shit! Aim assist, blah blah blah. <clears throat> Turn it on off, yeah, I get it. Oh shit. Oh, you can only have one big gun, that's kind of annoying. Right, okay, whatever. Defend Georgie. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, come on, open. Pry open the armory gate. Give me that damn thing. Alright, so I gotta do it. Hold on. Oh, okay. So lock pulling. There's a way of doing it. It's one of those systems. Expose the lock, rotate it until the green zone, then press. Okay, it seems pretty easy. In theory, we'll soon see. Uh, what? No. Oh, there we are. Seemed pretty easy. Had com more complicated versions. Ooh! We've got a big gun. Nice. Regroup with Georgie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Those smoke don't mean shit. Stay close. So I had to reload a gun, basically. I mean, I want to get rid of the one with less ammo. Okay. All over the place. Now, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the Black Mob. February 20th, 1968, a week before Mardi Gras. So this is before this all happened? You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You can take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't... They don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. Oh, nice car. Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. Have you seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Me is how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. 
Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, oh, so it's my car. Fuck around with your car. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Mm. <laughs> All right, cool. I like my car. It's pretty badass. Oh, for fuck's sake. Root. Set root options, button, open map, and okay. Uh, whoa, look at the big, that's how big the city is. Damn, that's going to be a bitch to navigate around, ain't it? I don't know if there's other areas that might get exposed, probably. I don't know. Uh, a taste of the action. Uh, so let's, that's our route, and let's go. The same as doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, we've been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing <laughs> about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Damn, I can burn some in this man. It's pretty fast. Ooh. <laughs> up all you want. <laughs> Shit. Come on, man. Stay out my fucking way. Haven't seen no cops thus far. Oh, shit. Police awareness. <laughs> just, just when I say that, I see a cops right in front of me. The police will attack if you commit crime, uh, act suspiciously, or break traffic laws. Wow. The range of awareness... Police awareness is uh, indicated by the blue police awareness. Okay. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want some. I say sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says... Damn, these people got drive move. Looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed, that ain't nothing to nobody, but this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side, that was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. So he's man. selling drugs. Split? <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. Okay, so he's selling drugs, I see. And in an area where he's not really supposed to be doing it, but they're keeping it on the down low. Wants to bring me in. But I don't want any part of it. I just got back, you know what I mean? So. Once you get settled in, I was thinking we could go to this new club in the French Ward. Maybe double date it. Who the hell am I going to go with? Your great Aunt Beatrice? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? Ugh. That woman has the droopiest, <laughs> nastiest tits I've ever seen. <laughs> they were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Yeah, <laughs> like that was a fucking accident. Hey man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway, <laughs> you'll go with Regine. Regine? Believe me, once you see her, you're gonna wanna dig right in. <laughs> Matter of fact. She got half the guys in the hollow sniffing around asking her out. Turns them all down. She's only got eyes for you, Lincoln Clay. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait and see, man. One look and your pecker's gonna pop right out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn, man. This place is far. Everywhere's far in this fucking game. Damn. Oh shit! Scratching the paint. <laughs> Scratching the paint. Fucking hell! Just gave some. Just gave some motherfucker whiplash 
If I'm not talking too much, as I said, guys, it's a lot of dialogue here, and I'm just listening, and it's fucking funny. Oh shit, where am I going? Where am I going? Look at the fucking shit car, move. Alright, here we are. Can I get out square? Okay. Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here, mm -hmm. I ask you to back down. Talk to Sammy. Oh, here we are. I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Boy, I send you to bring Lincoln Clayhorn. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realize Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! <laughs> oh, the reference there. Oh, Damn, he looked young there, didn't he? I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> it's hard. Ah, look at him there. He's well old now. It's like coming home from war. Elation. Fear. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then, one day, a door opens, and you're free to go, just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door. One way or another. Man, that whiskey's gonna hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. A lot of soldiers suffered from PTSD when they came back and uh, even today uh, people still uh, have issues coming back from uh, the terrible situation of war and then they come back to normal society and they can't really handle it. Um, you know, it's an ongoing problem, psychological. People might wake up having nightmares and stuff like that so it's, he wants to to be in this, this weird bedroom or what, the basement? Very strange. What's this? Playboy. <laughs> Picked up a Playboy. I think that might be a collectible. The graphics really seem to fade out when... Um, fucking hell, this is a huge fucking basement, isn't it? The graphics seem to fade out when you're actually playing the game. Maybe because I've got it on kind of bright. Uh, but I wanted it on bright so I could see everything. Um, but the graphics ain't that great. This guy looks like Diego Costa a little bit. <laughs> like in his younger days. <sighs> um... But then when you go into story mode, it's really, really good. Like, detail, proper GTA style.
Is it the next day? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, talk to Sammy and Ellis. Okay. I think they lost Vietnam, the war, and they got told to pull out and were protesting about it. And in fact, I think people spat at them and fucking hated them for being in Vietnam. Even their own people, I believe. From what I can understand, I can't remember all the de I don't know all the details. We barely have two nickels to rub together, now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you would have listened to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. Like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for. Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know it is. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. So he's not happy about the donation of food to oh, the uh, needier families, as it were. times once he was first back. <laughs> He told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in help. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. All right, so I was going to go away to California and have get a job down there. But instead, I decided to help my friend and family out with the Haitians or whatever. Ooh. Well, then most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like to hear it, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Alright, so I gotta serve the gumbo. What? Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. What? Well, I thought I was delivering food. I'm fucking serving it here. Shit. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, shut. Sure. Thanks. Nice to see you. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Bless his mind, man. A couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. So the community knows me, it seems. Don't get old, son. Oh, these hairstyles. Fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Megan, we got trouble! Run, Regine! What? Oh, shit! Sammy's next! 
Damn. Uh, vault cover. What? I have no idea what I'm doing right now. What the fuck? The whole thing just froze on me. Does the game froze? Ah, uh, what the hell? I think the game just froze on me. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing now. I'm pressing everything. Oh, it's frozen me. I can't even pause it or anything. Damn. That's whack. I don't know if it's had a, a thingy, an auto save. Oh my god. Oh, wait, hold on. What? Oh shit. Oh no, okay, I didn't freeze. Oh, ho, ho. what a bitch. Damn. The fuck? Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tantan Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? You got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Why attack a soup kitchen, you know what I mean? months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. But this thing with the Haitians... It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful here. Yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. Killing people on our own streets would be bad for business, bad for the neighborhood, and only attract cops, so. Susit. Alright, so we're gonna have to go and deal with the Haitians. Fucking bastards. Like I said, guys, man, there's a lot of dialogue in this goddamn game. <laughs> Heavy story, man, shit. Alright, never going to be over. Show this how you wanna play this. 
Last thing they're gonna expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. Shane, are gonna be crocodiles out here? Swim to the dock. Oh my god. I wonder what kind of gun I've got. I'm gonna need a gun, right? Um. How many men descend it? Find backer. One's gonna hit the bar. The other's going after Pearl. Stalking. Stalk your enemies and avoid their attention. Enemy awareness. Blah blah blah. Okay. Basically sneak. I've got one handgun. But we gotta sneak this, so this time he won't get away from us. Papa Legba, who can dig it? Nice. <laughs> I don't know if I can climb up here. Nope. Damn it. Fuck's sake. Huh? Right triangle, okay. Target practice stop. Shit. Health bar. Nice. Oh shit. Not good. <laughs> this guy has a shotgun. I want to pick up a shotgun. Nice. Okay, I'm down here. Hmm, maybe I could have went in this way. Alright, whatever. Ooh. Should have killed that old man alone. Whistling. Oh shit. Shit, it's gonna. What's the point? Nice. Well, there's no point whistling. Damn it. 20 shots. Come on, with Baka. Looks like he's gone. Motherfucker's making this interesting now. Damn, this is a big place. Oh shit. Nice. Shit, I'm alone, man. I'm gonna go like. It's just me. Fuck. It's annoying. Need a bit of help. What do I do there? That's picking them up. I don't want to pick them up. Shit. <laughs> oh shit, I'm surrounded. I'm seeing that. Look at that old man. Hmm. 
What's his health? Oh, cool. Hmm. Looks like he's gone. How many? Right over there. Go. Four shots. Oh, here it is. <laughs> that was day. Oh wow, one shot. What the fuck? No good. Over here. Boom, boom, motherfucker. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, whatever. Nice. <laughs> Shit, I'm fucked up. Alright, um. Reload weaponry, okay. And got no more ammo. Here, bucka, 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 where are you? Oh shit, here's someone. Get a bit closer. What? Boo. <laughs> what a rude awakening. Oh dude, that was funny. I'm hearing gunfire. Where the hell? Oh, here. Damn. Right, I'm back on the machine gun. Back up must be in there, surely. Shit, I'm taking cover. Let me at this fucker. I'll put one in his ear. Damn it, wasted too much ammo. That's nowhere to go. I know he ain't dead over there. There we are. Now he's like, oh shit. <laughs> that was pretty fucking awesome. Right. Damn it. Ah, oh, it's only gonna got. Those dickheads ain't give me no fucking ammo. Shit. Ah. I'll take that. Right, here we go. Kill Bucka. Should have killed me when you had the chance, asshole. First, I'll kill you. Nice. <laughs> Fuck you. Who want Fuck you. You made a big mistake going after the hollow. <laughs> The man you're talking about took me in where I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. Oh, nice. Who the fuck is that? A slave? You get a costume! You fucking pig! Damn you to her! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me! I get you, motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! So she was like a sex slave or whatever. Dead. He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. 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 <laughs> this is never going to be over. Pajam! Fucking Haitians. Damn. Get to Ellis. Oh, shit. 
Must love grenades. This is bad. What's this? Nothing. Um, I need some ammo, surely. Is there any weapons in here other than what I've got? Damn, man, it's gonna be a hell of a war to get out. I let them keep coming to me and I'll just pick up their weapons. Damn it. This is bad. Right, let's go. Let's go outside. Um see him? I'm doing a Molotov. Don't let me die like this. Got your ass no. I can try and run out this way. Find an easier route to him. That would help a lot. Shit. Shit, I didn't see him. Shit, I'm going to die. Damn it. I died. Shit. Oh. So we've got to be careful and take our time. Pick them off. I don't know where our checkpoint was if we had one. Damn man, right back at the beginning, that's bullshit. That is proper bullshit, I'm not happy about that. Alright, I took out a few. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Damn, as far as I have flashbacks at this point. This is a pain in the ass. Okay, I threw that by accident, but okay. <laughs> Damn, there's no gun. Okay, um, two shots, man. This is bad. For fuck's sake. I see it, I got nothing. Come on. Heads up, bitch. I mean, Lord, you can only carry two weapons. Like Grand Theft Auto, you can carry a like fucking five or some shit, you know what I mean? Switch and swap. It's kind of annoying. Damn, 
Okay, I'm getting shot from everywhere. I need to rest up, man. Shit. Oh, this is not good. Damn it. You got ammo. Now's our chance. Come on. Got nowhere to go. Really? He won't let me move. That is ridiculous. So I'm trying to play it a bit extra cautious now at this point. Ah, I've got nothing in that. Look at the guns they got, man. I'm gonna get fucked up. Oh shit. Move, 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 move. Ah, oh, Fuck's sake, they should give me a checkpoint. A better one. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. I'm going to have to check the timing of this video in a minute. I've enjoyed it thus far. Plenty of story. Quite a bit of action. Oh man, that sucks. Uh, give me one second, guys. I'm going to check the timing of this video. Okay guys, this is the continuation, or it may be another video, I don't think it will be, I'm trying to add this on. Um, I've started back here again, um, it's just a pain in the ass doing all this shit. Oh, fuck off with your Molotov cocktails, you dicks. So let's, um, they've got to get closer, you know what, hold on, I've got a thing here I can throw. That was stupid. I've only got one. Oh, I've got health here as well. Cool. That's pretty cool. Right. I'll go take him out. Right. He's down. It's two. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I love the shooting in this game, it's quite fun. Right, I've got three shots here. Boom. Oh shit! One round, boy. Come on. Oh shit, I've got to switch to the handgun. That's dumb. Come on, man. I should have fucking. There we are. Right, let's reload my weaponry. Pick up that. So I'll take my time now. 
Pick every motherfucker off. Oh. Got a comedian who thought he could fuck with me. Oh shit. Alright, 11 shots. I don't like how many out, how much ammo they give you. It's kind of annoying. Look at that man, it's fucking annoying. Gotta reload, damn it! Today's the day you'll die. Look at this dude. Prick. I want to get in there. I'll try and go to get in. There, stop him. Get him right, I've got some health here as well. There's two of them over there. Like, come on, one on the left. I'm trying to be more. Oh shit! I'm out in front. Shit! I'm taking cover. Shit! Oh come on, man! I'm dead. That's fucking shit. That's what I'm saying about this game. It's fucking annoying. They just ransacked me and I've got to start all over again now. <sighs> that is garbage. <sighs> I bet I have to start all over again anyway. Yep, I have to start all over again. It's fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so he had no weapon. He did on the other hand. Four shots. Not the best. Damn, that was day.
Okay. I kind of want that machine gun now. I've got one shot for the shotgun. Oh shit. Oh for fuck's sake, wasting so much ammo. Oh look, my health is fucked. It's a wrap. I've already lost. That's shit, man. We keep looking till we find him. Let's pick a new spot. Damn. Oh shit. Ten shots. Send out a twenty. This is not good. Molotov cocktail over there. He was just here before he doubles back. I'll put one in his ear. That you prick. It would appear clear over here, but I don't trust it. I've got nothing in there. Okay. Reloading, cover me. Looks like he's gone. Motherfuckers making this. Make sure he's gone. No excuses. Tear this place apart. Right, there we are. He's down. Not a lot of ammo left. What the fuck? You fucking retard. Drive to Sammy's. Oh my. Oh, whatever. Pick up Ellis. What the fuck? Get in the fucking car then. Driving and explosives. Drop explosives and destroy pursuing vehicles. Okay, whatever. You out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, and I've let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with shit. the has been weighing on him. With them out of the way, things will calm down. Go back to how they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. 
Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. All right, so we've completed that section. Fucking hell, that was a cunt. It's annoying. It's so fucking dark. No one's really came after us, so. Damn, we're back into the city. No traffic, that's pretty cool. <sighs> But yeah, I really am enjoying the story thus far. So he's talking about how when our dad eventually dies or whatever, but we, there are people going to be gunning after us uh, or looking for us for protection and all the rest of it. So because we're the sons, obviously, of some uh, someone who runs that area, <laughs> like a community kind of thing as well. Oh, I've got to go inside the house. Move you fucking dickhead. Yeah, people. The thing Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night, on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day. I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the way. Sooner or later, Pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Ah, so the guy who owes money to or whatever uh, wants us to do a job for him to square off what we owe him. Time to make a change. And of course it's in the country club, the golf club or whatever, you know. They don't like black people being down there. And they don't allow black people to join it. And I think even to a point, up until like 2013, 14 or whatever, or oh, maybe even now even, they don't like black people joining uh, the golf clubs and stuff like that. It's primarily a white thing. Um, you can say it's changed, but uh, 
it's mostly for rich people anyway. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first part of the playthrough. Um, I'm enjoying it thus far. Heavy story, loving the story, interesting, good characters, good fighting, the combat's decent, uh, the consistent action. Uh, the graphics, uh, when you're playing the game in general, like when you're driving and stuff, ain't that, that, ain't that impressive, to be honest with you. I'm playing this on the PS4 Pro. Um, having said that, I'm still enjoying the graphics completely just... Boom! Well, exactly when you when it goes into story mode, it like uh, pops out the screen. It's really really good. I'm loving that the narrative of all the interesting characters and stuff like that that they've got going on, telling the story of um, I don't even know his name right now off the top of my head, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Um, I'm loving it thus far, and it's only part one. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this uh, playthrough. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me for part two tomorrow and uh, i will see you next time thank you so much for watching oh on facebook instagram twitter all in the link description below if you're interested in follow me there